Because as you saw, Jeanette and I are raising our four children in the 21st century. And we know how hard it's become to instill our values in our kids instead of the values that try to ram down our throats. In the 21st century, it's become harder than ever to instill in your children the values they teach in our homes and in our church instead of the values that they try to ram down our throats. And let's dispel once and for all with this fiction that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. These strikes are wrong at a time when negotiations are still going on. But parents and the public have been let down by both sides. He knows exactly what he's doing. What I say is that the strikes are wrong when negotiations are still going on. But I would add this, let's dispel with this fiction that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. At a time when negotiations are still going on, I do believe these strikes are wrong. Well, I think we've got a double dose of good news today for Britain. He knows exactly what he's doing. Well, I think what you see today is a double dose of good news for the British economy. But what I say in public and in private to everybody involved in this is... Let's dispel with this fiction that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing. And now today, we've got this double dose of good news. He knows exactly what he's doing. These strikes are wrong. We want to explain we've got a long-term economic plan. We need to use overwhelming air power. So our long-term economic plan, we need to be fighting and killing and fighting and killing and fighting and killing. I would bomb the shit out of them. But the object isn't to level a city. I would just bomb those suckers. The object is to kill a long-term, competent economic plan. I think parents up and down the country have been affected by this action, uh, and it's wrong. We will utterly destroy... Here's the bottom line. This notion that Barack Obama doesn't know what he's doing is just not there true. There it is. We will carpet bomb them into oblivion. And that's right. I'd blow up the pipes. I'd blow up the refi... I'd blow up every single inch. There would be nothing left. I don't know if sand can glow in the dark, but we're going to find out. Please clap. <laughs> and if I'm president, I am going to once and for all try to reunite Pink Floyd.